The regulatory scuffle between Ripple and the SEC has re-established calls for market participants to go against the agency, just as we've seen the likes of billionaire investors like the star of Shark Tank, Mark Cuban, and Tesla CEO Elon Musk, both of whom have engaged in squabbles with the SEC in the past. Thus, supporters of Ripple have encouraged the world's richest man, Elon Musk, to unite with them in battle against digital securities laws in the US, and there are many irregularities. On the technical side, we have the cryptocurrency market looking to be recovering from its latest significant correction over the end of the past week as volatility ensues. Following such events is the plausibility of a Russian-Ukrainian war looming over the entire crypto industry. Additionally, with the U.S. Feds looking to increase interest rates, equity, and crypto markets remain choppy. Thank you for watching Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We also have a crypto Discord group where we give out calls for your favorite altcoins, and you can also win special rewards for inviting your friends to the group. Links for that are in the description. Undoubtedly, the more extensive crypto market has entered a severe correction since the last quarter of 2021. As a result, investors are losing a great deal in billions of dollars. Du Jun, the co-founder of cryptocurrency exchange Huobi, has additionally predicted that Bitcoin is headed up for another crypto winter. Jun said the next Bitcoin bull run could show up by late 2024 or even mid-2025. The Huobi co-founder said that the Bitcoin bull markets intently follow the splitting event. Bitcoin has seen a significant bull run each year since its three previous halving periods in 2012, 2016, and 2020. As it may post these rallies, we've entered realistic corrections like the crypto winter of 2018. Talking to CNBC, Dujun said, if this circle continues, we're now at the early stage of a bear market. Following the cycle, it won't be until the end of 2024 to the beginning of 2025 that we can welcome the next bull market on Bitcoin. Heading back to the main topic at hand, talking about the big news, will Elon Musk be joining the XRP community in the fight against the SEC? Well, that depends on several things, including the content of the letter in a recent court filing addressed to Manhattan U.S. District Judge Allison Nathan, during which Tesla's lawyer, Alex Shapiro, expressed that the SEC was bothering his clients with numerous investigations. Shapiro wrote, Worst of all, the SEC seems to be targeting Mr. Musk and Tesla for unrelenting investigation, largely because Mr. Musk remains an outspoken critic of the government. He added that the SEC appears to be keen on refusing Mr. Musk his right to freedom of speech. The major media outlet has reported that Judge Nathan has requested that the SEC respond by February 24th. After Tesla disclosed that the SEC had subpoenaed their CEO, Musk, over his Twitter activity, this filing follows suit. This isn't the first time Musk has had a clash with the SEC over the said issue. The SEC once sued Musk and Tesla for a misleading tweet in 2018. At that time, a $40 million settlement was reached. XRP supporters entreat Elon Musk, whose Twitter influence could change the course of the ongoing Ripple lawsuit with the SEC overnight, to join them. As a result of Musk's most recent complaint about the SEC's oversight, Supporters of Ripple and the XRP token have approached the billionaire to likewise fight and support with them. One such proponent of the XRP community and the lead attorney carrying out pro bono work for the Fold brought up that the XRP community, similar to Musk, has long been fed up with the SEC's tactics. Deaton welcomed Musk to join the XRP community in any way he wished. In one Twitter post, the attorney had confirmed the increasing number of XRP holders involved in his fight, as he stated that over 1,000 of the 65,000 that have joined in the fight against the SEC do not own XRP. They joined because they were tired of the SEC's overreach, extortion, and bullying tactics. You can join and be a silent member or join and be out front. Other XRP supporters have joined the call to Elon Musk, expressing that the XRP community has a much bigger bite than Dogecoin. Moreover, the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit has been heated up over the past couple of days with the unsealing of two legal memos from 2012, where Ripple was seeking legal counsel on the best way to avoid making XRP come off as a security, according to the SEC's laws. However, the lawsuit is relied upon to go on at full throttle in the days ahead, as Ripple proponents continue to tarry on the belief that Judge Sarah Nedburn will not be giving a quick verdict. The biggest decision in the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit, according to the opinion of XRP holders, says attorney John Deaton. As you might already know, the magistrate has of late ruled on the deliberative process privilege, issued with a couple of wins for Ripple, which were to the point of being considered as an incredible outcome for the defendants and XRP holders. The court found the earlier assumed privileged documents regarding the Bill Hinman speech as not in any way confidential, as well as released notes and drafts as asserted by the SEC. The SEC then at that point filed a motion for reconsideration as the plaintiff, contending that it was once supposed to be a personal opinion, is now being called public guidance. This sudden change of course tactics employed by the SEC has stunned observers of the lawsuit, including attorney Jeremy Hogan, who responded with a tweet, I'm reading it, but can't quite believe it. 
So now the speech wasn't Hinman's personal opinion at all, but intended to convey the Department of Corp Finance position on digital assets. This is as crazy as it gets. Nonetheless, Magistrate Ned Byrne will, in a real sense, be the appointed authority over that. Similarly, John Deaton believes that the possibility of XRP being referenced in any of the 63 emails is more than likely. The last version of the speech examines both Bitcoin and Ethereum and doesn't allude to XRP. He asked via Twitter, what are the chances of XRP not being raised at all in any of the 63 emails? What are the chances that at least one person in the email chain brought up XRP? One person in the email chain could have posed a very reasonable question such as, what about XRP? Deaton further expresses his views regarding this since he feels that the SEC turning in the emails may be colossal for XRP. Just as he added that should Judge Sarah Nedburn ultimately rule that the emails must be turned over, that will be huge for XRP and the entire Ripple team. However, should the SEC persist on the emails as being protected under the DPP, the judge could still pierce through that and order the production of these documents, as we now know that they don't contain privileged credentials. The crypto law founder introduced these two possible scenarios, and to begin with, assuming Judge Sarah Nedburn rules the emails are privileged yet orders that the SEC to turn them in, it could recommend that XRP is referenced and that proof would be exculpatory. On the other hand, if Judge Sarah Nedburn overturns her previous verdict and decides that emails are to be privileged, then at that point, those emails, however valuable to Ripple, probably won't be just about as significant as seen. John Deaton, the lawyer representing the over 65,000 XRP holders with amicus curiae status in the SEC versus Ripple case, commented on the upcoming ruling via Twitter, explaining how important the outcome of Judge Nedburn's decision is to the community and crypto at large. And he goes on to add that the judge's decision on the said motion for reconsideration might as well present the most significant finding in the litigation, since the judge's decision is not based on whether the fintech startup had fair notice, but whether it can argue it. And back to Elon Musk's possible involvement with XRP, seeing as the world's richest man has been associated with all these cipher tweets about the XRP coin, proponents of the Ripple asset now have a couple of reasons to believe that 2022 would be the year Elon Musk finally declares his endorsement of the XRP coin as we all know what happens after that. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on bell notifications. If you have any questions, drop us a comment and we'll see you next time. Hollywood Carson